everybody. Welcome to Stamping with Melva. I'm having a little bit of technical difficulties here, so let's just hang on for a sec. Um, for some reason, StreamYard is giving me error messages about whether it's going live on Facebook. So we'll just, um, I think I'm live in my Facebook group, but maybe not on my Facebook page. And I think I'm live Oh, there we go. Looks like I'm live on all three now. I don't know what's going on. Um, a bit odd. Anyway, so hopefully I'm live. Hopefully you can hear me. Um, it is a bit of an unusual time for me to go live, but I did say that I uh, we had to take our car in to be serviced uh, today, and it's taken just about the entire day. Um, and so I'm finally home. And so I did think it was going to be a little bit later today. But today I want to show you um, how to make the cards that are going to be part of the make and take kit. So every month, if you put an order in with me for $50 um, or more, you will get a make and take kit um, and a thank you card um, for, uh, for three cards. So you get three cards that you can make, you can either use, hey Polly, um, you can either use the stamp set, oh Pam, good, you let me know it's all good. Um, use the stamp set that I have. Um, or you can use your own stamp set, or if you really love the stamp set, you can put it in on your next uh, order. Um, but this time we're using the Hooray for Surprises stamp set. So like I said, you'll get a make and take kit um, of three cards if you put a $50 or more order in. If your order is $75 or more, I give you a package of embellishments to use. So not only am I using a stamp set I've never used, I've had it. It's part of the January to uh, April mini catalog. It is being carried over, which is really exciting since I have it and I've never used it. Um, there are dies that go with it, but I'm going to keep it pretty simple with um, just the stamp set today. Um, this is a, I'll, I'll talk about the stamp set that I'm going to use. The other thing I'm using is I'm using some sneak peeks of new in colors that are coming out uh, in, uh, in May. So let me switch over and we'll show you what those are. All right, first of all, this is the Hooray for Surprises. Hey, Sharon. Um, hey, Polly, don't know if I said hello. Um, Hooray for Surprises stamp set. There are dies that go with it and they are make interactive cards. So um, there's like a die that creates a zipper pull. So you can kind of tear um, a box open, for example. And then there are little stamps that say pull um, open here. Um, I'm just going to keep it simple and just use the stamp set. I love this um, heart. It seems so appropriate for spring the heart with the tulips on it. And uh, definitely since I just got back from the Netherlands, we didn't see any tulips that was too early for us. So the, given a, maybe a couple of weeks, it would have, uh, the tulips would have been out. So that's the stamp set. Now let's look at these gorgeous, gorgeous colors that I'm using. So these are three of the in colors. So this is Summer Splash, Petunia Pop, and Peach Pie. The other ones, um, that are in our Pretty in Pink, which is a returning color. That's so cool. And the other one is called Shy Shamrock. So I'm not using those ones. I decided to pull out. These are my three favorites um, of the in colors. In Rotterdam, we picked the um, Summer Splash as our favorite. They did a kind of an informal pull using ping pong balls. You got to take a ping pong ball and put it um, for your favorite. So those are the three colors. Okay, so... I went ahead and cut out, let's do this one first. So this is um, the peach pie. I think the other night um, when I was talking about the in colors, I called it pumpkin pie. And of course we already have a pumpkin pie, so that was wrong. So this is peach pie and it's four and a quarter um, by 11. So I'm gonna score it at five and a half. And as always, fold into the mountain or the raised line. So if you get one of these make and take kits um, as a thank you, um, you can go back to this video and watch how to put them together. You'll get everything you need. I can't stamp any of the images, but you'll get everything you need um, to make the cards. You just have to stamp the images um, and add some sentiments. So this is the designer series paper, this new designer series paper that coordinates with the in colors. Um, it also comes in the um, brights, neutrals, subtles, and regals, and maybe even the 2020 
what is it, 2023 to 2025 in color um, designer series paper. So they've switched up the pattern. So this really pretty leaves and flowers um, or the stripes. And I'm going to use the stripes. And let's see, I pulled out some more of these because I was thinking I pulled out some other paper. So I'm just going to cut a piece of this because I want to put I'm going to cut this an inch and a quarter. I want to put this across um, the middle just to kind of, I think the white will brighten it up. It's, it's quite bright, but it'll maybe brighten the wrong word. Maybe it'll tone down that uh, peach pie color a little bit. I'm going to use the flower. Um, am I? Yep, yeah, I'm going to use the flower. grab a block. So we'll use that flower and what shall we use for a sentiment? Um, you're the best catches my eye. So put that on there. There we go. Now as I said there are dies that go with this. Um, I'm keeping it pretty simple and just using and I'm going to do some fussy cutting but you can actually, if you get this make and take kit um, and you have the dies, you can of course cut them out. But I'm gonna, so I'm gonna stamp. Isn't it pretty? Oh, bright, bright and cheerful. Uh, and then I'm also gonna stamp that. Now I pulled out the ribbon. I have the, it's called um, Bordered Ribbon. And we get lots of sneak peeks. There are, um, so the ink pads, of course. The other color that came out um, is Basic Beige, not part of the in colors. I have the paper for that, but I don't have the, the ink pad. I forgot to order the ink pad. Um, so this is the, the um, bordered ribbon. You can see it's got a stitch line. It's kind of hard to see. It's in the same color, but there is a stitch line um, down each side, and that comes in each of the in colors. All right, so I'm going to just stamp this, or stamp this. What am I talking about? I'm going to glue this in the middle, roughly in the middle, across like that. And yesterday, if you were watching, I said that if you get a ridge, my my paper trimmer, I'm not sure why, because the, the blade is, is new, but I get a bit of a ridge when I cut my paper. And so I just take my bone folder um, and, uh, and run it along, and that will get rid of that ridge. Okay, so I'm going to, I'm probably at way more than I need, but I'm going to tie a bow. So I turn, I always turn upside down when I tie my bows just so I can control where the tails go. So we're going to tie a bow and hopefully, hopefully she says we're going to tie a bow. Um, get my tweezers. So if you have a hard time hanging on to this so that you can tie a nice bow, grab your tweezers. Yeah, just use your bone folder. Um, Pam, and it will get rid of that ridge. I really like this new color too, Sharon. I love all the new colors. I wasn't so sure. Um, if you follow the, um, I think it's pronounced Pantone or Panatone. I don't know. Um, they seem to be the, the experts in colors. But if you follow, um, this kind of peachy color was the, I call it Panatone, Pan, Panatone, but I don't know if that's right, um, color of the year. So it's not surprising um, that Stampin' Up! Um, used it or followed the trend. So I'm just going to trim trim my ribbon. Now, um, if oopsie, where did I go? If you get like I have my ribbon, my bow is quite loose, so I always just take a glue dot or a couple of glue dots and put on the back underneath and do what they do in stores to make the mannequins and the clothes look so amazing on the mannequins. Just cinch it in <laughs> and then you'll be good. I might put another one on there. 
sometimes I just don't get my bows um, tied just quite enough. There we go. All right, there we go. Isn't that pretty? I think that's so pretty. Okay, now I am going to use stamp and seal. Hopefully she says, there we go, stamp and seal. When I use ribbon, I like to put stamp and seal on. I think it holds it in place. You can use tear and tape adhesive as well, um, but I tend to just use stamp and seal over top of the ribbon and just to hold it in place. Okay, so we've got most of the card base done. Now, I punched out um, a circle out of basic white um, using the two and three eighths inch circle punch. Uh, and I'm going to pop up my flower. So I'm just going to fussy cut. Like I said, I think there is a die that would cut this flower out if you have the, the dies. Um, but to make it easier for everybody who gets this kit, um, it's just, it's easy to, uh, to fussy cut. And I know not everybody likes to fussy cut. Or you could even have stamped, I could have stamped my flower right on top of the, my circle, but I like the, I like the texture. So I always like the layers. I wasn't so sure. I tend not to be, I tend to use more regals and neutrals. Um, regals and neutrals as opposed to the brights, even as opposed to the subtles. Um, and so I wasn't so sure I was gonna like these new colors, but oh, I really do. Okay, so let's use a few dimensionals. This kind of reminds me of, um, we had a color, something parfait, peach parfait, I think it was called um, a few years ago that wasn't in color and this kind of reminds me of it. It's a little brighter. It's always interesting when um, demonstrators do the comparison and they show all of the, in the colors. All right, so we will just put that over top of the ribbon. And then of course we need the sentiment. Now I'm just gonna cut this out. You could just um, cut a rectangle and do the stamping, um, which is probably what I'll do in the kit. So I'm just going to take and pop that up again. In there. And then of course we have to put embellishments on. So the embellishments are, they are the in color shimmer gems. Oopsie, come on. So you'll be able to see all of the in colors. Um, so this is Petunia Pop. Pretty in pink. Now it's really this difference between the summer splash and the shy shamrock are quite sub, um, subtle, especially in in these um, these gems. And then of course the peach parfait. Where it is there? It is. I take your pick tool. These are similar to the purple fine shimmer. Um, gems that we uh, have in the in the mini catalog that coordinate with the uh, the lavender suite. All right, so then of course I need the inside, and you always end up with a little strip of cardstock or of designer series paper when you cut because this is uh, these are six by six, so. I cut this to five and a quarter, so I have a little three quarter inch strip that we'll put on the inside of the card. All right, that is card number one. Isn't that brighten somebody's day up to get that card in the mail? All right, let's work on, let's do the Petunia Pop color now, cause it is, I think it's my favorite, which is also surprising to me. Like I said, I don't tend to use um, the really bright colors. So it always surprises me. So this is, it's uh, a little more purple than say fresh, well, 
maybe a little, sorry, a little pinkier than fresh freesia. So what I did was I cut this five and a half by eight and a half, and I have a piece of basic white that's five inches, um, sorry, four inches by five and a quarter. This is the other pattern. So it's got this kind of ornate pattern on the back and then these little circles, which I absolutely love. So we're going to glue this strip of the designer series paper on to our basic white. Trying to get it aligned with the bottom. And then of course I have, thanks Sharon, I have the Petunia Pop. Come on. Doesn't want to come off, there it is. Okay. So this is the Petunia Pop bordered ribbon. So I'm just gonna take, I'm gonna do a faux bow on this one. stamp and seal so that I can layer that kind of hides the seam like that yeah I'm loving this new designer series paper too it's so pretty and of course also I'm going to use my stamp and seal I put it right over top of the ribbon um, sometimes that doesn't work so well if the ribbon's thick but in this case it's quite thin ribbon um, and so it works well as a layer. So this is five and a half by eight and a half. So I'm going to score it at four and a quarter. Oopsie. And I'm use my bone folder. And then this can go on like that. All right, so let's do some stamping. I'm going to do the the um, heart with the, the flowers. So I've got my petunia pie ink. And I'm going to do the I'm going to do the make a wish. Which is here. Block. Probably should have done this before I I glued this on, but we'll be brave. Act with courage is one of the things that Stampin' Up! always says. Act with courage. So stamping after you've glued down is acting with courage. Um, okay, so let's get my piece of basic white out. And I'm going to get my really big, this lovely heart with the beautiful tulips. Yes, it's very rich. Um, definitely pretty pink is very rich. Uh, it is even brighter than our um, bubble bath. And this is, ooh, something that didn't stamp very well. Where's a piece of scrap paper? Okay, I'm gonna clean that because I got, it looks like there's something on it. Hmm. That's better. Hmm. I don't know what that was. Something was uh, looking like it was stuck to it, like a dimensional back or something, Or, but yet there wasn't anything on there. Oh, and it did it again. What is happening? Okay. You know what I'm going to do is I have been lazy about not using my foam um, pad and I have a feeling that that may be part of the issue. There you go. So note to self, um, your foam pad is your friend um, for photopolymer stamps. Um, even though the, the glass mat works really well, um, sometimes you just need to pull out your foam or your piercing matter or um, some grid paper or whatever it is you stamp on because uh, I tell my new stampers that they always need to stamp on their foam their foam mats or their piercing mats and I wasn't paying attention 
I should pay attention to my own, to the things I say. <laughs> yeah, because it definitely had a, it wasn't happy stamping on the glass mat. All right. There we go. Isn't that pretty? So pretty. So I'm going to use dimensionals. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. If I can find my dimensionals. There's some. That's not the pad. That's not the sheet I had, but it'll have to do. Um, I was going to use some Wink of Stella, but I seen I had a class and I pulled all my Wink of Stella. If you haven't heard and you've been waiting for Wink of Stella, um, the story is there's a worldwide shortage. I may have said this. Um, and supposedly Wink of Stella is supposed to be back in stock, hopefully by the end of May, which will be amazing because I have, I have a whole bunch of tubes and none of them are very full. So I'm just going to make a faux bow. So just take a, you know, three, four inches and just tuck it underneath and tie it a single note and then note, single knot, and then trim it. Trim the ends. Great way. If you have a hard time tying bows, faux bows will be your best friend. All right. And then let's use some more of these amazing, amazing dots or gems. You hear me groaning? It's because I pulled a muscle uh, as we were traveling, and I'm going for physio tonight, which is good because I am struggling with walking and bending over. <laughs> it's uh, it's a bit brutal at the moment. Okay, so there's the outside of the card, and there is this little. Oh no, I actually have a piece of this. This same paper. We'll put this on the inside of the card. I love this petunia pop. I know that it's going to be one of my favorites. And there's some other stunning designer series paper that, of course, has all of the, the new in colors in it. You're going to love it. Okay, second card in petunia pop. All right, and then the last card I'm going to make is in um, Summer Splash. So I've got a piece of Summer Splash, uh, five and a half by eight and a half. We'll score it at four and a quarter. And then I've got a piece of, okay, so. This is, I'm going to use this one um, because I haven't used this. Hey, Trudy, welcome. Um, so this is that really pretty, I guess there isn't a right way and a wrong way. So I cut this piece to be four inches, two and three quarters by four inches. So it's just going to go, um, I've got a piece of basic white. So it's going to go right here on the, on the end like that. Yeah. Like I said, I'm keeping these cards. I think pretty simple. No muss, no fuss. All right. And then this can just go on the card front. So for this one, I'm going to use um, the cake. But I'm going to punch out a two and Two and three eighths inch circle I, from um, the summer splash, and then I will stamp on my piece of cardstock and my basic white using my ice and my ice cream. What am I talking about? My cake. So there's the cake and the candle and there is a tiny 
here it is there candle flame and let's make this a birthday card because it seems to be a cake is good for a birthday all right and then i need my summer splash ink all right i think i got everything So we'll stamp the cake. It's not pretty. Oh, so pretty. All right. And then the candle. Oh, gosh. And then I'm going to stamp my flame just because I have it here. I'm going to stamp my flame using the, the peach pie. It's kind of yellowy like that. All right. And then the last thing I need to do is stamp my sentiment. Getting my use out of my scrap piece of basic white. All right. So now let's do, of course, some fussy cutting because it wouldn't be me if it wasn't fussy cut. So you could, you could actually stamp this and punch it out with a smaller punch if you wanted to, but I'm on a, I'm on a, what am I on? I'm on a trend. I'm on a, um, the word's gone. I'm on a, hmm. <laughs> I'm trying to cut out and think at the same time. That's probably never a good thing. All right. So then we'll stamp our candle or our, cut our candle out. I'm not sure that you would really want a, a cake iced in this color, but maybe you would. Maybe this will be your favorite color and you want a cake. There we go. Okay, so we're going to use dimensionals. Actually, before I put that on, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut my sentiment out. There we go. All right, so just trying to figure out where these will go on my card. So I'm gonna put my, my circle. And before I do that, I'm gonna use some of the ribbon. Oh yeah, I know April 2nd, if you're a demonstrator and you didn't attend on stage, April 2nd is the date you will be able to get your hands on um, or at least put your order in for the on the new uh, catalog pre-order. Um, if you're a customer, um, May 1st is the date. You will be able to order the new colors and the new stuff. All right, I'm just gonna wrap this around. And I'm gonna put the seam right underneath where the circle is going to go over top. So I'm just going to put some stamp and seal there and bring this piece around and put that over. And this the, the um, circle is going to go on with dimensionals like that right over top of it. So it will help. Mint chocolate. Oh, what a great idea. Okay, so I'm going to put that there. So when you've got a big, a wide um, sentiment like I do, um, make sure you stagger your dimensionals um, so that it doesn't, it doesn't go wobbly on you. Okay, I'm going to put that one on like, like that. And then I'm just going to glue this down. There we go. Even though I said I was going to use dimensionals over top of my ribbon, I think the glue will hold it. And that's got dimensionals. Okay, oops, didn't mean to put that down. Okay, so we got our cake and our candle has gone missing. Of course it has, Nova. Where did that candle go to? I will find it as soon as I'm finished. So we're gonna have to stamp another one. I know it's here somewhere, but of course it's gone. 
so we'll just stamp a new a new little candle it's like a everything goes missing when i do lives and i can hear some of you yelling yelling at me it's right there but it's not i can't see it so we'll Okay, so when you've got a little tiny piece of um, cardstock or a stamped image to I like uh, to adhere, I like to use these adhesive foam sheets, um, and you can just cut them to the size. If you don't have them, you can use the edge, particularly the edge of the mini dimensionals. Um, you can cut the edging off, um, but I really like the adhesive foam sheets. So we're just going to take and put our candle on. And then we'll pop our, our uh, flame on using a mini, mini dimensional. Hmm. Let's put that a little bit better. There we go. There's my cake. Yeah. All right. Now embellishments. Of course, we have to use the, the pretty ones. These ones are so pretty. They shimmer. My take your pick tool has gone missing, so I'm using my scissors because that's the next best thing. Although the take your pick tool works a whole lot better than I'm doing really right now with this Scissors, okay, there we go. That could go there. And then the last thing we need is a piece for the inside of the card. And I got a little splodge right there, but you guys can't see that, right? Uh, and somewhere, I cut a piece of the, okay, I don't know where it is. So we'll stamp something instead. Uh, let's stamp the little heart. Which is here somewhere. There we go. There's a the little heart. So gently, when you're using a really big stamp pad, sometimes you get, it's easy to kind of get extra ink so make sure you're stamping straight up and down when you use if you're using a bigger stamp pad than normal right. and then this can go on the inside of the card there we go those are the three cards i bring them back one two I am not doing well. I have lost, where is the card that is was done in, in Peach Pie has gone missing. Oh my goodness, Malva. One of them went on the ground, so I'm wondering if it's gone underneath. Okay, well, those are two of the cards, because <laughs> I can't find the other one. Oh, it's not a good day. It's got to be here somewhere. Oh, well. Okay, so those are the two of the cards that, that I've made. Um, and the other one was, done, oh, see there, I told you I'd find it. There's my little uh, candle. <laughs> I'll have to find maybe the other, maybe my other card will show up. Um, so there we go. Sneak peeks of the new in colors, at least three of the new in colors. Um, that's the peach pie color. Um, and, uh, and those are the make and take kits or make and take cards for the thank you kit that um, you will get if you place an order of $50 or more uh, in April. All right, everybody, thanks for joining me. Um, thanks for joining me a little later than normal. Uh, I will be live on Saturday at 11 a.m., which is my regular time. Hopefully you can join me then and I will make another project. Come join me. All right, happy stamping. Bye.